What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a newly discovered iOS 9 bypass that allows you to get past the lock screen and get into the photos and contact information. Now granted, iOS 9 is still in the beta stage, but this is a significant bypass and it was interesting, so I thought I would share it. Now I did not find this bypass, uh, original video can be found down below in the description. I just thought it was super interesting and I've always been fascinated by bypasses. Apple put so much effort into making sure their system is secure. It always amuses me when such simple little bypasses can be found and they allow you to get into the contact information. That's pretty significant stuff. In the past, I found a couple before, but those were in the older firmwares and this is in the latest iOS 9 beta 3. Of course, this is going to be patched soon, but anyways, let me go ahead and show you how this is done. So it's as simple as making sure rotation lock is off and then go ahead and go into the clock app. So in here, go into alarm. I'm going to set a new alarm. I'm going to go into label and you want to click on this uh, word right here. Just select it and rotate your device like this. And go ahead and click up here, click on share, and click on the message button. So you'll get this screen, and this may not work the first time, but go ahead and click cancel, and this is what you should see. The screen should split into two. If that doesn't work, go ahead and do it again. Share, messages, and uh, this time, this is what's gonna pop up. For most of you guys, it will be in landscape mode. And for me, most of the time, it does work in original format. But again, most of you guys will be seeing this in a horizontal format, so it'll look a little bit different, but basically same concept. So this is it, this is the bypass right here. Let me show you what you guys can do with this. So go ahead and put any random uh, amount of letters, click return, and then double tap on this contact right here. Click on it again, and it'll boot you into this screen right here. So from here, you can either add to existing contacts, so you can see all of your contacts in here. When you click on them, you'll be able to see the actual number, you know, all their information in here. Now from here, you can add a photo, and uh, say this person doesn't have any contacts, you can also create a new contact, same concept. You can add a photo, and then in here, you can either use the camera or get into the photo roll. So in here, you pretty much see every photo on the device, and now you are a cyber criminal. <laughs> Anyways, so we can click cancel. So guys, this is pretty much it. It fascinates me just how easy this is, especially on the latest version. Hopefully Apple will be fixing this before the public version of iOS 9, but as of now, it is current on the latest beta. I mean, the person that found this, uh, it's crazy. I mean, how did you do this? How do you sit there and just find this stuff? But it fascinates me that you can get into the device, can get into the photos all within a lock device. So when we click the home button, boom, we're back on the lock screen and we can get nowhere else. So guys, I just thought that was interesting how to bypass the iOS 9 lock screen. Even that six character digit does not matter. Get into the photos, the contacts, you know, all that private information that you shouldn't have access to. So of course, Apple will most likely be fixing this, but it's always interesting finding these. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Be sure to check out many of my other videos and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Have a great day and hopefully enjoy your secure device on 8.4. Peace.